Deuteronomy Chapter 28 And if you listen diligently to the voice of Jehovah your God and are certain to do all his commandments, which I am commanding you today, Jehovah your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you listen to the voice of Jehovah your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your animals, the offspring of your cattle and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Jehovah will cause your enemies, who rise up against you, to be struck down before you, on one road they will come out against you, but on seven roads they will flee before you. Jehovah will command the blessing upon you in your storehouses and in all your undertakings, and he will bless you in the land which Jehovah your God is giving you. Jehovah will establish you as a holy people to himself, as he swore to you, if you keep the commandments of Jehovah your God and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth will see that you are called by Jehovah's name, and they will be afraid of you. And Jehovah will give you an excess of prosperity in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your animals and in the fruit of your ground, upon the ground which Jehovah swore to your fathers to give you. Jehovah will open up to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give rain for your land in its season and to bless all your undertakings. And you will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. And Jehovah will make you the head and not the tail, and you will tend only upward, and you will not tend downward, if you will listen to the commandments of Jehovah your God, which I am commanding you today to keep and to do. And you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I am commanding you today, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But if you do not listen to the voice of Jehovah your God and are not certain to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I am commanding you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground, the offspring of your cattle and the young of your flock. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. Jehovah will send to you cursing, discomfiture, and rebuke in all your undertakings which you do, until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly, because of the evil of your practices through which you have abandoned me. Jehovah will make a plague cling to you until he has consumed you from off the land which you are entering to possess. Jehovah will strike you with consuming disease and fever and inflammation, and with burning heat and drought, and with blight and mildew, and these will pursue you until you perish. And your heaven, which is above your head, will be brass, and the land, which is under you, iron. Jehovah will make the rain of your land powder and dust, from heaven it will come down upon you until you are destroyed. Jehovah will cause you to be struck down before your enemies, on one road you will go out against them, but on seven roads you will flee before them. And you will be a source of shuddering to all the kingdoms of the earth. And your corpse will become food for all the birds of the sky and for the beasts of the earth, and no one will frighten them away. Jehovah will strike you with the boils of Egypt, tumors, scabs, and itching, of which you cannot be healed. Jehovah will strike you with madness, blindness, and bewilderment of heart. And you will be groping at noonday just as the blind man gropes in darkness, and you will not succeed in your ventures, but will only be oppressed and plundered always, and no one will save you. You will get engaged to a woman, but another man will ravish her, you will build a house, but you will not dwell in it, you will plant a vineyard, but you will not partake of it. Your ox will be slaughtered in your sight, but you will not eat of it, your donkey will be torn away from before you, but it will not be returned to you, your sheep will be given to your enemies, but no one will rescue them for you. Your sons and daughters will be given to another people while your eyes look on and fail from longing after them all the day, but you will be powerless.
A people whom you have not known will eat the fruit of your ground and all your hard-earned produce, and you will be only oppressed and crushed always. And you will go mad because of the sight before your eyes which you will see. Jehovah will strike you on the knees and legs with terrible boils, of which you cannot be healed, from the sole of your foot to the top of your head. Jehovah will bring you and your king, whom you will have set over you, to a nation which you and your fathers have not known, and there you will serve other gods, mere wood and stone. And you will become a source of horror, a proverb, and a byword among all the peoples to whom Jehovah will drive you. You will put out much seed in the field, but you will harvest little, for the locust will consume it. You will plant vineyards and dress them, but you will not drink the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm will devour them. You will have olive trees in all your territory, but you will not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives will drop off. You will beget sons and daughters, but they will not remain with you, for they will go into captivity. The locust will take possession of all your trees and the fruit of your ground. The sojourner who is in your midst will rise above you higher and higher, but you will go down lower and lower. He will lend to you, and you will not lend to him, he will be the head and you will be the tail. And all these curses will come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not listen to the voice of Jehovah your God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. And they will be with you and with your seed as a sign and wonder forever. Because you did not serve Jehovah your God with rejoicing and gladness of heart on account of the abundance of all things. You will serve your enemies, whom Jehovah will send out against you, in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in lack of all things, and he will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. Jehovah will bring against you a nation from far away, from the end of the earth, like the eagle that swoops down, a nation whose tongue you will not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, who will not regard an old man's person nor show favor to the young man. And they will eat the fruit of your animals and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed, they will not leave for you grain, new wine, or fresh oil, the offspring of your cattle or the young of your flock, until they cause you to perish. And they will besiege you in all your towns until your high and fortified walls, in which you trusted, come down throughout all your land, and they will besiege you in all your towns throughout all your land, which Jehovah your God has given you. And you will eat the fruit of your womb, the flesh of your sons and daughters whom Jehovah your God has given you, in the siege and in the distress with which your enemies will distress you. The man who is delicately bred and luxurious among you, he will begrudge his brother, the wife of his bosom, and the remnant of his children whom he has left. Not giving to one of them any of the flesh of his children whom he will eat, because nothing is left with him in the siege and in the distress with which your enemies will distress you in all your towns. The delicately bred and luxurious woman among you, who does not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground because of her luxuriousness and delicacy, she will begrudge the husband of her bosom and her son and daughter. The child who comes forth from her and her children whom she will bear, for she will eat them secretly for lack of all things in the siege and distress with which your enemy will distress you in your towns. If you are not certain to do all the words of this law written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name Jehovah your God. Jehovah will make your plagues and the plagues of your seed extraordinary, great and persistent plagues, and malignant and persistent sicknesses. And he will put upon you again all the illnesses of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they will cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, Jehovah will raise up upon you until you are destroyed. And you will be left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of heaven in multitude, for you did not listen to the voice of Jehovah your God. And as Jehovah exulted over you to do you good and to multiply you, so will Jehovah exult over you to make you perish and to destroy you, and you will be torn off the land which you are entering to possess. And Jehovah will scatter you among all the peoples, 
from one end of the earth to the other, and there you will serve other gods whom you and your fathers have not known, mere wood and stone. And among those nations you will have no rest, nor will there be a resting place for the sole of your foot, but Jehovah will give you there a quivering heart and eyes failing with longing in a languishing soul. And your life will be hung in suspense before you, and you will dread night and day, and you will have no assurance of your life. In the morning you will say, Oh, that it were evening. And in the evening you will say, Oh, that it were morning. Because of your heart's dread with which you will dread and because of the sight before your eyes which you will see. And Jehovah will bring you back to Egypt in ships, by the way concerning which I said to you, you shall never again see it. And there you will offer yourselves for sale to your enemies, as male slaves and as female slaves, but no one will buy you.